astronomers have detected a mystery stellar object which emits pulses of light for two minutes every 44 minutes. A handful of objects like this have been found before, but this is the first to emit both radio waves and X-rays. Curtin University astronomer Dr. Tung Wang led the international team behind the investigation and he joins us now. Tung, welcome. So can you tell us uh, more about what you've found, what you've detected? Hello, thanks, Rose. Uh, so we have discovered something that we don't quite understand. So it is a cosmic object that flashes in both radio waves and X-ray every 44 minutes. So it comes from our own galaxy at around a distance about 15,000 light years. So it's pretty far away, but still within our galaxy. Okay, so this is the first object to emit both radio waves and X-rays, as you've said. Why is yeah. that so unusual? And does that give you any clues as to what it might be? Yeah, so even though like there have been similar objects discovered before, uh, but they only flashes in radio waves. So the, as you mentioned, this is the first time we saw this kind of object also flashes in X-rays. So X-rays is kind of light, but we cannot see it by our eyes. So your X-ray comes from a very hot and energetic environment, so that the object needs to be very powerful to pr produce such light at a such distance. So now there are like two leading options, either a highly magnetized dead star itself or it in a binary system, which means that the dead star orbits another star like the sun. So highly magnetized here means it possesses a very strong magnet magnetic field, so at least big and times stronger than that of the Earth. However, like those two leading theories could not, could not ex fully explain all the observational features we have, so it could be something totally new, or it could be something we've already known. For mm -hmm. example, the two leading options uh, that produce the radio waves and X-ray waves in a different way. So what further investigations are you carrying out then to find out exactly what it is? So we are now still continuing to monitor this object with different telescopes, for example, the ASCAP, uh, GMRT, and other telescopes. And hopefully it will become bright again. And this time we are well prepared, so we should be able to uh, get further information on what they are and how they produce these bright emission. We are, we are also keeping finding more similar objects. So the more we find, the better we will understand them. So how hard was it to find then? Were you looking for something like this? Uh, we, we actually like scan the radio sky uh, regularly and we just try to catch up something that is suddenly it turns on. So like if you see something that is stable and then just become bright again, or they just disappear for some time and appear again. So that is something what we are searching for. Uh, and it is not that, uh, uh, there, are, there are not that many objects that is behaving like that, mm -hmm. but we should be able to find, say for example, a one or two every few months. A lot of us have seen uh, the movie Contact. Uh, this is an extraterrestrial ter life, is it? Have to ask the questions, Tung. Yeah, so like, I, I believe it's very hard for like, uh, artif like for aliens to produce something like that uh, because like we catch the birds span a very wide frequency range, which is usually not the case for artificial signals. And this also means that you need to produce a lot of energy which is much more than that of the song mm. to like produce such a bright signal. So I don't think it will be aliens. I wish it could be, but it's very hard for aliens to to produce such a signals. Oh. As a scientist, thank you so much for entertaining the question in the first place, Dr. Zetang Wang. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.